back to Smoke Meat with Jeff. <sighs> Today we're going to do a, uh, a couple of pork sirloin roasts, but I'm going to go ahead and stuff those. And of course I've got uh, my uh, elderflower uh, old fashioned right here. If you want to know how to make one of these, check out one of my other YouTube videos. So uh, this is not going to be a pork tenderloin. We'll be doing that in another video. This is a different cut of pork. Uh, known as the pork sirloin roast. So uh, some of the basic ingredients you're going to need for this as far as non-food ingredients, you will need a very sharp knife, some butcher's twine for tying this up, and if you have a Bradley rack, go ahead and grab one of these. Uh, makes it easy for transporting the, uh, the meat. And then uh, I'm going to be doing two roasts today. Uh, one of them I'm going to do with, well, let's start off with the meat. Pork sirloin roast. Uh, it's a nice meat, it's, uh, not, not a solid piece of meat, so we may have a little difficulty rolling this thing up, but uh, we're going to give it a shot today. And one of these I'm going to do with apples and brie stuffed inside uh, with some of my, my special seasoning. This is my um, salty and smoky. And then for the second roast, I'm going to stuff it basically Italian pizza style. So we're going to have some Italian seasoning. Uh, a little bit of marinara, of course, got to throw in some pepperoni, and some mozzarella cheese. So uh, let's get started on uh, slicing this up because we got to get this thing uh, flattened out so that we can stuff it and roll it back up. Flattening out our roast. Admittedly, this is going to be the, uh, the hardest part of what we're doing today, but we need to take this and actually flatten it out so that we can roll it back up and stuff it. So for this you are going to need a really sharp knife. And basically what you're going to be doing is you're going to go down uh, to about half an inch to quarter of an inch from the bottom of your roast and just slice it through keeping the knife parallel with the cutting board. Just make sure that you don't go all the way through. And then we can open that up. Then you're going to slice a little ways in and then continue keeping the knife parallel to the cutting board to kind of open this thing up. Remember, don't go all the way through like, oops, I just did there. So we're going to make that the inside piece so when we stuff this thing, uh, this will be concealed. So you're going to do this for both pieces of meat to get it ready for uh, for stuffing. So uh, let's move on to getting this stuffed with, uh, uh, we'll start with the pizza one. All right, let's make our, uh, our pizza stuffed uh, pork sirloin here. As you can see, I've got uh, the pepperoni slices here. I've got my mozzarella cheese and I have some marinara. And of course, I've got my Italian seasoning. Uh, so to start off with, we are going to put down just a little little layer of our Italian seasoning. Open up our marinara. Spoon a little bit of this on here. Now this, this portion right here, I'm going to come in about um, two inches or so. That's going to be our end line. Because if you go all the way to the edge, everything will just squish right out. Take your marinara, spread out a nice thin layer. It doesn't take a lot. You're just going for the flavor, not a lot of marinara. There we go. Put down some pepperoni. Now because this was, uh, we were doing flat cuts on this, we're going to roll it up as best we can, but chances are we're going to end up with uh, basically layers on the inside, and that is perfectly okay. And then put down a nice little layer of cheese. And then it's just a matter of carefully rolling this bad boy up. Tucking in your ingredients nice and tight. 
There we go. And then next step is uh, grab your tying twine. Cut about a, a bunch of, uh, let's see, you probably need one, two, three, four, maybe five or six pieces, about a foot long. And then uh, I will show you how to tie one of these things up. Here we go, tying up our roast. Uh, as you can see, I got uh, cut a bunch of one foot lengths of our butcher's tying twine. You can pick this up from any reputable, butch reputable butcher. Uh, that if you just ask at the counter, chances are they're just gonna give it to you. So go ahead and squeeze it underneath one end of your roast. Go around your roast and then loop it a bunch of times. Don't just do it once, do it a bunch of times. This allows it to, uh, gives it a little bit of friction to hold that in place while you put in that second knot. And then of course you just uh, trim off the excess. Go ahead, flip it around and do the other end. One, two, three, three or four times around to do it. Pull it nice and tight. Put in your second knot and trim. And then we're going to repeat this process uh, probably a couple more times, one, two, maybe three more times through here to really give us a bound uh, roast to put right onto the, uh, the smoker. Once this is done, we're going to put it straight on the, uh, the Bradley rack and into the smoker, but I'll get to you with the temperature and type of wood as I'm stuffing the, the next roast with apple and brie cheese. And now on to the next one. As you can see, I've got the, uh, uh, the sirloin roast flattened out now by carving um, parallel to the cutting board and just kind of rolling out the meat. So now we're going to do this one with the, uh, with the apples and the brie. I'm going to put down just a nice little layer of my special seasoning. And then I took the apples and I sliced it up. As you can see here, I've got the apples as thin as I can possibly get them. Then we are just going to put down a nice little layer of apples and cover this whole thing. And you want to keep the, uh, the apple slices as thin as possible so that you get that little bit of flexibility, which makes it a little easier to, to roll this thing up. So once I'm done with this, I'm going to take my brie cheese, uh, take it out, of the, obviously take it out of the package, and then take off just this top layer and the bottom layer of the uh, uh, the wax that's around it, and then cut this into slim pieces and lay it out on here. And then we're just going to roll it up, just like we did with the other one. I got my tying twine ready to go, and we're going to tie it up, season the outside with a little more of this, and we're going to end up with. A duplicate of this one just with the different seasoning package on the inside and then we're going to throw this right onto the smoker so let me finish this up and then uh, we'll get back talk put this thing on the smoker and I'll talk to you about uh, temperatures and uh, cook times well we're at, we are ready to uh, get these roasts onto the smoker as you can see I've got them all tied up and ready to go uh, the two different flavors we are going to be smoking this today at about 250 degrees. Uh, it'll take about three hours. You want your internal te finish temperature to be around 165 before we pull this thing off the barbecue. Uh, so I'm smoking with almond wood today. Let's get this thing on the smoker and uh, go make ourselves another cocktail. Okay, we're about an hour and a half in. Uh, let's take a look at what we got. Oh, that's looking good. Let's get a closer look here. So here we go. We got the... Uh, uh, coming along just fine. We got the Italian one here with the, the pizza inside. Let's see, that one's got the pizza. And then we've got the other one here. It's coming along nicely. We've got about another uh, hour and a half to go. Over here you can see I've got some uh, bacon-wrapped onions that I'm smoking as well. And you can take a look at this in one of my other uh, 
uh, smoked meat with Jeff episode. So let's come back in a little while and uh, check the temperature. We're shooting for 165 degrees internal and then we will pull this off the smoker. Just got word from my eye grill that the uh, internal temperature has hit our target market our mark for uh, our, our smoked uh, pork sirloin roast. So let's get these things pulled out. Oh, those are looking awesome. Oh, those look great. Got some cheese melting out the end. Uh, it's still bound up nice and tight. I'm going to go ahead and get some pictures of this for you. Uh, when you go to slice this up, since it has the, um, the butcher's twine around it, uh, you're going to want to make sure that your guests have a way to remove that from the individual pieces. It works out really, really great to cut down in between them. Uh, holds it all together. You put it on your, uh, your guest plate and have a little pair of scissors to something at the table uh, that they can either clip it off themselves or you can clip it off right before it gets served. Uh, but you want to make sure that's taken care of so your, your guests aren't eating string. But uh, these are looking absolutely amazing. Let me get you a few pictures. And uh, I think it's time to eat. So this is uh, Jeff with Smoke Meat with Jeff. Have fun on your smoker. And until next time, enjoy what you're having on that, uh, on that grill.